Hi guys. Um, normally at the end of the year, I'd be able to see you face to face, give you hugs and high fives as you walk out the door. Um, we'd be spending these last couple weeks building boats, laughing, having a good time, and thinking about what we learned over the school year. But that isn't how it worked out. I am really proud of so many of you who managed to every day get up and get your work done. I know that it was a struggle. I know that it was a struggle for my own kids, and I'm really very proud of you for doing um, what you were able to do during these um, weeks off. Not to mention the fact that over the past couple of weeks, we've had to process quite a bit as a community. Um, the shooting death of Ahmaud Arbery, then the, um, right after that, the murder of George Floyd leading into our protests and a lot of really uncomfortable conversations and just thinking about how things are. However, over the past week, I've also attended a few protests and I have to say that they left me feeling very hopeful. Almost all of the um, participants at these protests have been under the age of 20. The protest in Bel Air was organized by a 17 year old. All of the speakers, except for two, were high school students and they were very, very inspiring. So this really leads me with, leaves me with a lot of hope a lot of hope in our future that you, your generation will do better than the generations before you. You will lead with love and I'm telling you, I will follow. So with that, eighth graders, I look forward to seeing you graduate in 2024. I want you to have a great relaxing summer. Make sure you get outside and get some fresh air, do some creative things and get a lot of sleep. Um, if you have any trouble next year or even over the summer, you can definitely reach out to me and I'll be there for you. Take care. I will miss you.